Hey guys, so today I have a video that's been very requested of me and it actually came about because I've been talking to Kristen from her YouTube channel as Kristen Me. I'll put it down below. And we were talking about doing some sort of nutritional video because she's a dietitian and both of us are really into health and eating clean and that sort of thing. So we thought we would do a video showing you guys what we typically eat in one day. You'll see everything I eat is pretty healthy. I've always been a fairly healthy eater. I don't eat like processed foods ever. I don't eat Doritos or any of that sort of thing. My kind of weakness is sweet, so like cookies and that sort of thing, but I'm doing better. Um, and Andrew's like really big on not eating carbs at night, so that's been hard for me because I usually like to make like rice and stuff, but he's like no carbs at night. So, I mean, he is a personal trainer, he knows what he's doing. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this and just get a glimpse into what I eat. Go check out Kristen's video too for just some other ideas on how to eat healthy if you want to, you know, start off this year in the right direction. I hope you guys all enjoy this and here we go. So, for breakfast or when I first wake up, I usually eat drink, sorry, one of these bombshell spells. If you guys watch Tone It Up or follow them, they talk about drinking these right when you wake up. All that's in it is pineapple juice, lime juice, honey, and apple cider vinegar. So I just mix that together and then I can have that ready for the entire week. For my breakfast this morning, I'm going to have a smoothie. I have been obsessed with these smoothies lately. They are so good. I'm really into Robex and I'm basically just copying their smoothie. I think the blog post will be up by now, so I will link it down below. You need apple juice, grapes, parsley. I know it's a little strange. Uh, I use spirulina just because it's added benefits, some vanilla yogurt, and frozen pineapple, and ice. As I was making this, I'm pouring my spirulina in there, which is that dark green powder, and it all just came out at once. like so much of it. So I had to actually like triple the recipe because there was so much and it was just going to taste kind of funky. So that's why there's so much in here, but um, I just turned it on. Hello. It was on high. I turned it on. Sorry. Okay, so I turn it on low and then slowly build it up. So there is my smoothie. It actually tastes pretty good, even though there's so much spirulina, it's, it's pretty tasty. I'm having a kind bar for a snack. This is the Madagascar vanilla almond, and I just did a workout, so I want this before I have some lunch. Okay, time for lunch. You guys want a preview of our fridge. I'm gonna make a salad for lunch, so I'm going to use some lettuce, clearly. Um, I like to mix my lettuces, so I'm going to use this one too, which is just like a little bit different. Sorry, I'm not focusing. Um, and then I will use, what else, just whatever I have on hand. Cut up a tomato, I buy those Roma tomatoes from Trader Joe's, some red onions, half of avocado, and some carrots. And then here is my little blend of, of lettuce. Yes, Kyla's food's up there. She's not eating for some reason. Like, I don't know what's going on with her. For my dressing, I rarely buy just a packaged dressing. So I put some olive oil, just like a drizzle of olive oil, and then some balsamic vinegar and pepper. I've been eating this all day nonstop. It's this kettle corn by Angie's. And I just got two bags of these off of Vitacost. They are so good. I'm obsessed with kettle corn. So for dinner, I'm going to make fajitas. So right now in the pan I have... Just, I just sliced up some chicken breasts and put some olive oil in there. Then I'll put some salt and pepper and season it up. I just got this seasoning off of Vitacost. It's just like an all-purpose seasoning with garlic and a bunch of stuff. And on this side I have red onions, peppers of yellow and orange peppers. I'm going to just saute those until they're... I like them when they're pretty, pretty well done for my fajitas. And what I'm going to do is just make like a big fajita salad. I've never done this before, but I'm gonna put salsa in with my chicken. I don't want it to be like a carnitas tasty meal. So salsa is in, chicken's almost done. And then I also put some balsamic vinegar in the peppers and onions just to make it a little bit sweeter. And then here is my salad bowl. Okay, so here is the chicken all done. I just kind of shredded it and pressed it down 
with this little thing. And then peppers are all done, so I'm going to pour this on top. Like this. I'm using ranch, not the healthiest, but it's going to taste good. We can't help it, we love ranch. We love ranch. <laughs> <laughs> and then just mix it all together. I was going to use a tomato, but our tomato is like moldy, so I didn't use that. Note, do not use moldy tomatoes. <laughs> Oops, Kyla! It's actually better to use ranch than moldy tomatoes. So, <laughs> it is. Uh... <laughs> is that enough dressing for you? Plenty of dressing. Dinner is served. And I am finishing off my night with some more kettle corn. 